complete coverage continues. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren live at City Hall with the very latest. Mike. Mary, it was just about seven hours ago when Baltimore City State's Attorney Marilyn Mosby laid out her case, and she said things went wrong before Mr. Freddie Gray ever got inside that jail transport van. She said he should never have been arrested, and she also said that police repeatedly denied his cries for help until he could no longer breathe. When Baltimore State's Attorney Marilyn Mosby walked out to speak, no one was expecting the stunning news that was about to break. The findings of our comprehensive, thorough, and independent investigation, coupled with the medical examiner's determination that Mr. Gray's death was a homicide, which we received today, has led us to believe that we have probable cause to file criminal charges. All centered on the death of 25-year-old Freddie Gray, who was taken into custody by Baltimore City Police. The department's and the state's attorney's own investigations alleged the ride inside that van ultimately killed Gray. Following transport from Baker Street, Mr. Gray suffered a severe and critical neck injury as a result of being handcuffed, shackled by his feet, and unrestrained inside of the BPD wagon. Six Baltimore City police officers involved in the arrest and transport of Gray were formally charged with crimes ranging from second-degree depraved heart murder to manslaughter, assault, and false imprisonment. Official reaction was swift. As mayor, I have said from the beginning that no one is above the law in our city. I was sickened and heartbroken by the statement of charges that we heard today. We finally got the process moving forward, but it's a process. It's a long, uh, the criminal justice system is gonna work its way through. We believe in the criminal justice system. And it started this morning. A warrant has been issued for their arrest. Bombshell developments today with a long road ahead. The city state's attorney rejected calls that she step aside in favor of a special prosecutor. She says she was elected by the people. She'll handle these cases. We should also note the medical examiner has ruled this death a homicide. Reporting live at City Hall, Mike Helgren, WJZ Eyewitness News. Mike, thank you so much.